Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today I'm going to show you Hot Corn Cold Corn. Corn Cold Corn was a request for Dan and incidentally if you enjoy my videos please do consider joining me on Patreon. Now I'm going to give you three or four versions of Hot Corn Cold Corn. It's a remarkably simple tune, uh, it's an old time minstrel song and it's one of those tunes which is so simple it's very easy to dismiss as being not worth playing. But the more I got into this uh, the more I realised how what a great tune it is and when I heard the Robert Earl Keane version, <laughs> I was so excited. I just wanted to play and play and play along with that track. Uh, and in fact, I'm going to do a separate Patreon video just based on the Robert Earl Keane version. But let's start off with the, the melody on its own, and you'll see how simple it is and how uh, you might <laughs> really not want to play it until you get further into it. So, basic melody. So there's hardly any notes in it, uh, it's very short. The only uh, interesting thing about it is that, that little crooked bit at the end uh, where there's a half a bar. Um, apart from that, you might, if you read that in a book, uh, you'd think, right, thank you, uh, now where's the interesting tunes? <laughs> uh, so let's, first of all, before we go any further, let's try singing along with it. And for, if you've never sung with your fiddle, then this is a major challenge in itself. But for songs like this, for tunes like this, it really does add a lot. And you don't have to be a singer, as I will amply demonstrate. So the words are hot corn, cold corn, bring along a demijohn. And a demijohn is like a flagon that you carry a beer or cider or something in. Uh, three times, hot corn, cold corn, bring along a demijohn. Hot corn, cold corn, bring along a demijohn. Fare thee well, Uncle Bill, see you in the morning. So just playing that along with what I've just played. And that makes some kind of sense of the melody, and it certainly makes sense of the odd little bit at the end. Uh, now, if you add drones to that, as I was doing a bit there, so G drones under the G, D drone under the A. D drone under the next bit, D drone under the A. Let's do that with the drones and singing. Three, four. Hot con, 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 bring along a demi John. Hot con, 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 bring along a demi John. Hot con, 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 bring along a demi John. Very well, I will we'll see you in the morning, yes sir. Then let's add some shuffles. So I, I look at a version by Mike Parsons, a really excellent video, and he gives some shuffles. So we'll do it without the vocals to start with. Three, four. So we've got a couple of blue notes at the end. So, key of G, that is the flattened third, which is the typical um, blue note for G major blues. And that also is the flattened third. So, let's do that version with the backing. <coughs> Now there's a, this is played not only in old time but in bluegrass as well and there's a version by, uh, by Chubby Wise playing with flattened scrugs which is pretty close to the version we've just had. Starts off with the triplet 
One, two, three. Let's just do that with the backing. Okay, I mentioned the Robert Earl Keane version and you really should take a look at that. Uh, it's a, um, a great outdoor scene with um, the band really putting a, an amazing groove on it, including someone banging an oil can with a hammer. <laughs> and they, they use a, a minor key, so um, that kind of feel. And this is ideal for some chopping. That kind of feel. And uh, I'm going to do a video on Patreon just based on that version. Uh, which, uh, if you join me, you'll be able to see that video. Thank you for watching. If you would like a copy of the dots for all of these versions, then do subscribe to the channel and send me an email. And I will send you a copy, and I'll play you out with a couple of times around um, mixing these versions up. See you again soon.